welcome to In the Closet Podcast. ITC. The ITC Podcast with our friend Seth. Sorry, that was in the background. How do you say your last name, Seth? Kerlock. Seth Kerlock. 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 Lock. It's a lock, y'all. Mm. <laughs> and Ange is here. What up, Ange? She's up? I'm, I'm sexting something. somebody oh. right now. I, I am not. I, yeah, disgusting. it's the guy from The Rebel, so just give me a Ooh. second. <laughs> Could be. You never know. He I'm probably sure. he might have a phone. Ouch. He might have. He probably has two. If I'm I got two, two phones. <laughs> one with a plug and one with a <laughs> uh, You know, I'm just saying. Look at us hey. getting lit up in here. Let me raise my mic up. Check this out. Love that. Oh, he popped his uh, Diet Sprite. Just kidding. <laughs> it's a devil ants. It is a devil ants. You like how I did that? Yeah, you did good. Um, I I'm didn't tired of people. It. I have a pet peeve that people say devil's ants. I understand that. I don't. I think you're a little bit picky. Well, you know, oh, okay. devil is, you know, his nickname. His name is Ants Hatfield. That's right. Do you know? I didn't know that. You said they got that. in fights. But I didn't know. The, 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 last night when we were out with Seth and we were talking about devil ants, you were, said that, that, well, first of all, you said that they were going to be there no longer. And then you told me they were part of Hatfield McCoy, and I did not even know that. Yes. Yeah, where they, they ride, it's a trail where they ride their motorcycles. Yeah, and they're side by sides. Side by sides. The Hatfield side by McCoy sides. McCoy's I thought the Hatfield trails. McCoys went way back. Oh, yes, they do. Sorry, I digress. Oh, I digress. Yeah, yes. we were talking Devil about ants. nowadays. There's a trail down there. Oh, where they okay. kill people. Talk more about that. Have you been on that? No, I've had friends that have ridden their motorcycles. Really? On it, yeah. Where so it's is like it? a dirt trail, right? Yeah, big dirt trail. People come from everywhere to do four wheeling and stuff on it. To ride the Hatfield and McCoy's yes, dirt trail, yeah. which is where? It's Logan down County. in Logan. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, down in Logan, West Virginia. Maybe you that's... You know when you're coming home and you just see freaking trucks... Yes, that's what with, I was going to say. ...side wow. by sides all... They're going to the Hatfield Field and McCoy Trails. Just, that's what they that's sound like. Good. Have you ever heard them? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I have. I've never been on a side by side. I'm a West Virginia. What? I've never been on a side by side. And you're from West Virginia? No, I'm not. Oh. She's from Kentucky, which is even worse. Southeast Kentucky, by God. I didn't even... Northern Kentucky, thank you. Blah. I didn't even know what a side by side was until I moved here. Well, it's certainly not a couch. It is not. <laughs> you throw a dip in. Yep. Fire that thing up, mm. and you get out there on the trail. I've been mm. on a four four wheeler. I'm getting oh, a redneck boner have. right now. <laughs> I have a redneck boner. Well, this table is not going to hold it down. <laughs> well, we might have to put some books on it. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, lordy. Oh, did you hear they're they're banning certain books now? No. Swear. Yes, they have heard that. This is like down what in Florida. I'm not real about? sure of the situation. I'm not going to blow this out of proportion because I don't know the situation. Oh, let's blow some stuff out of proportion. Okay, well, let's look at Google then. <laughs> we all uh, love that. Uh, you know, we need to do um, a little chat GPT. Huh? Chat GPT. I told you about this. Chat GPT. It's like 100 times smarter than Google. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I okay, asked so it I've yesterday. seen this on. Okay, so is this like a website? Okay. Uh, yeah, chat GPT is amazing. It's, 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 uh, AI that they've created. So it's Artificial basically intelligence. Yes. Gotcha. It basically answers your questions within, well, instantly pretty much. And I asked it the other day, I said, Hey, how many words do 18 month olds know? Okay. Right. Okay. Cause we have an eight minute. We're talking about, humans it came back or, and it gave it all description humans. Okay. Cause cats know words. I know this. Yeah. Right. Of that's course crazy. they do. Come on. That's silly. Um, Anyway, so the so the uh, fucking cats. <laughs> so it came back and it said first to explain that it depends because different kids, you know, blah blah blah, like right, they can right, know right. more or less. But basically, the average eighteen month old knows between ten and twenty words. Oh wow, she's really, really? Up there. So she's there, yeah. She's way above that. Oh yeah, basically whatever we tell her to say, she says. Right. That doesn't yeah. mean she knows them. Yes, yeah, she well, does. Well, they're not no, saying yes, she does. knows. They're, they're saying they can say them. They can them. say them. But she did not to be off track, but she does and actually. And don't you ever call my grandmother, my granddaughter dumb again. My grandmother's no, are dead. No, she so. does actually know that. She picks up these little flashcards and she'll say bug, monkey. I mean, she'll, she does know That's them. That's true. Cat. That's impressive. 
Yeah, she really does. Anyway, I don't know how to um, log on to this chat. Are you still GPT? trying to? Yeah, I'm it's trying easy. To just, just go. Google. Google. Where is it? I hit Google Chat GPT. Just go though. Well, you go to the Google. website and then okay. it'll ask you to log in, and you'll say, "I have to create an account," and then you'll say, "Just create it through Google." Open AI. Open AI. Yeah. All it's, right. It's pretty cool if you ask it about the Hatfield McCoys, for instance. I've got the app. Oh, That's what I'm looking gosh. for. It's not showing me the app. You're here. so Let's cool. See. Chat open. I mean, we can open we can app. always just pull the app up right here. Yeah, pull the app open. I don't want to do this anymore. My there it is, there right there. So you control See, this. Right. Then. So let's so ask Chat GPT what about the ask? Hatfield and McCoy Trail. What is the Hatfield and McCoy Trail? What is the Hatfield and McCoy Trail? Put it up to this. Okay. It's not going to talk. It's not going to talk. You have oh, to read. That's no. bull what crap. Kind of AI doesn't talk. That's bull crap. That's ain't. That's not advanced intelligence. No, you can not. if you get the pro version, but no, I'm, not, I'm not paying. I don't want to read it. <laughs> All right. Well, look, we've got an answer. Why can't we Ooh. just ask Alexa? She's right there. No, nah, she's not going to give us a detail. Alexa answer. single. Is she in here? She's right there. She's nice and round. Ooh, she is nice. Here you go. So you can read better than me. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you can you can look at that. It's you don't even neat. need readers yet, Seth. No, I don't wow. actually. I, I turned forty. We talked about this last 40. time. I think. I think we did. Forty two is when it hits. Forty two. My sister 41, said forty one. Forty two. My sister said her was. Well, your fit. Your sisters and we have the same genes. Better than us. We have the same genes. It hit me right when I was forty. Yeah, and right around forty to forty two. They say CVS, is when it nails you. CVS in the shampoo aisle. I, I'll never forget it. But anyway. you, you gonna read it? Got shampoo in your eye? No, I was trying to read it and it just wouldn't work. And I went and grabbed some readers and then I could this read. This is them. the ADD podcast from. Listen, you know what? What? <laughs> Black and buy. Right. State Farm Insurance. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> no. Wait a minute. No. All right. I had to drink a Devil Ants Hatfield before I talked about the Hatfield. And McCoy I think that's trail. appropriate. I okay. like it. <clears throat> the Hatfield and McCoy Trail is a system of off-road trails located in the Appalachian Mountains of West Virginia, United States of America. The trail system is named after the famous feud between the Hatfield and McCoy families, which took place in the late 1800s in the same region. The Hatfield and McCoy Trail System is one of the largest off-road trail systems in the world, covering over 700 miles of trails for oh, for off-highway vehicles such as ATVs, UTVs, and dirt bikes, and daywalkers. The trail system is divided into several different trailheads, each with its own unique set of trails and terrain. The Hatfield and McCoy Trail System is a popular destination for off-road enthusiasts who enjoy the thrill of riding through rugged terrain and scenic landscapes. The trail system is also a major economic driver for the region, bringing in millions of dollars in tourism revenue each year. How good is that? That, was, that is impressive. That was good. Coming from a broadcast major, I have a degree in broadcasting. You could do voiceovers. I'm not talking about myself. I, I was I'm talking, talking about, about the, the chat. GPT. I was talking about I was I was talking about hey, That was impressive. I no. That I, was right to the point and very informative. I was impressed See? by your reading. He was very good with his reading, I'll admit. Yes. Very good. You could very do good voiceovers. Job. Can I tell you guys a little known secret? Sure. You're a good reader? Well, we, uh, I was in the Boy Scouts growing up, right? Oh. Right. Yeah. This could be probably borderline sexual harassment. I could probably get money for this. Anyway, we would, this was back, you know, in the 90s before, you know, instant access to sexual things. Right. Oh, you can't just pull yeah, your phone up and go, yeah, show yeah, me a yeah, boob. Yeah, yeah, hey, show yeah. me a booby, right? Yeah. So one of our friends had gotten a hold of a penthouse forums. Those magazine, are cool. And yeah. we would read the forums to each other and go around the room. <laughs> <in> the <laughs> would you really? At the Boy Scout camp. Yeah, because we'd be all pent up. You know, our girlfriends oh, are all my gosh, oh, yeah. reading these things, cracking up, laughing, because they're right. just hysterical. It's, it's, it's just silly. so raunchy yeah. and hysterical. It's like a comic book. Right. But yeah, we would hand those around and like the more... Influx or influation you can have on your voice, and the better you can make it. You know, that'd be a good podcast reading oh, penthouse yes, forums. It would yeah. be. It's probably be pretty done already. Pretty bad, but probably, probably somebody fun. does that already. Probably. <laughs> that's awesome. So that's where you learned how to read so well. I think that's it. You know. Yeah. Definitely wasn't. Definitely wasn't school. I don't know why a cat. Is Our in cat here. loves Seth. There is a cat here on my lap. There is. She loves you. She really this likes you. Is, um, yeah. Um, Chanel number no. five. Chanel number no. yes, five. That is yes. Chanel number no. five. Maybe, maybe this is uh, foreshadowing for my future wife. Maybe she's going to wear Chanel, or maybe she herself is going to be Chanel. That is possible. Or she'll have a cat that she names after a perfume. Or maybe she'll her stage name will be Chanel number no. five. Hey, there you <laughs> go. Hey, hey. 
back to the Hatfield McCoys, though. Oh, Honestly, yes. <clears throat> I, so can I heard in your wonderful reading that you can mm-hmm. you can walk these trails? I made that part up. Daywalkers are people that are on methamphetamines that walk around. And oh, I heard daywalkers. I, th- I was thinking hiking. No, I call daywalkers um, and streetwalker. Well, nightwalkers and daywalkers. Is what so I you call. threw that in there. Yeah, I just threw that one. That's in there. very creative. It was. I didn't yeah. even. Yeah, I didn't even know. No, no like, I when I you said right daywalkers, I thought the same thing. I thought sounds like crackheads. Yeah, oh. no, it's total crackheads. Yeah, yeah. you can go to Campbell's Creek, where kind of where I grew up, and like find any, any hour. Yeah, any hour. I, just winter, wandering around. Winter time, summertime. In the summertime, they come out like mice. You know, it's like rats. I literally yeah, thought Daywalkers just, was like hikers. Like we were hiking. Like no, us. No, so no, you no. can't hike the Hatfield and McCoy Trail. I think you probably could. I don't see why not. Well, not if there's ATVs and stuff on there. Yeah, and, yeah, and, and, and mountain bikes. Do and do uh, what's the motorcycles that... Dirt bikes. Mm-hmm. You might get ran over. <laughs> no, that's true. So. Chat GPT, how about that? I, I, I should get us I just paid. wish it would read to you, but you that's should. okay. Why are you slamming doors and stuff? Hey, can you try to get uh, Chef Curry on for us? Chef, Chef Curry. <laughs> yeah, he's going to mix it up for us. Chef slamming doors and all. I don't all know that what's going on with that. Well, we had the window open here. Uh, well, because it was hot up here when I first got here. I thought you all would appreciate it if I opened a window. Feels great. You're a lovely lady. We appreciate you. Thank you. Thank wonderful, you. wonderful eyes. Thank you. If I was an attendant <laughs> at the Rebel, I would totally want to take you out back and smoke with you when you bought Rolos. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I would be like, hey, oh, you want to smoke? That's too funny. Um, well, anyway. Yeah, so Hatfield and McCoy, Devil Lance Hatfield, I digress. Okay, yeah, so. I do want to talk about this guy here. Last time Seth was here, uh, we talked about, um, what was that beer? How Alcott? Do, yeah, Alcott. but the quote was from Louisa May Alcott. Yeah, and the yeah, beer yes, was, yes, what it was, was it? was from Louisa May Alcott. Right. It, was yeah. a, it was a beer out of North Carolina. I told you guys right away, I was like, yeah, this is not a local name. beer. This oh my gosh, she did beer. not. That's out of probably North Carolina is what I'm saying. He's guessing. lying. So anyway, it's just we thought it'd be fun to bring up another beer. And we were out last night. We talked about Devil Lands. And we thought this would be a great conversation. I think so. I think let's talk gonna, about. It's going to be. We're going to have beer discussions. Beers, historical beers here. Okay. So hold on. Beer and First history. All, I'm looking at these pictures of the Hatfield and McCoy Trail. It's pretty cool looking. I mean, but yeah, you're right. This is not something you're going to want to hike on. No, you have to be in some sort of. You need to be in a vehicle. Yeah. yeah you need to be yeah, in an ATV or a dirt mm, bike. There's people going up creek banks and everything. No. Nah. Yeah, it's wild. I'll just watch videos. I'm not into all that. Because last time I was on a dirt, not a dirt bike, last time I was on a four wheeler will be the last time. I, well, it was the last time. And it'll never be another time because I fell off. Ooh, ouch. Yeah. And I have a scar on my hand. You can barely see it, but it's there because mm. I got cut up pretty bad by it's a branch. Mm. Because by the branch. guy that I was on the four wheeler with, this was before Jeff, obviously. Ooh. So that's how long ago mm. it was. He 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 didn't tell me to duck because mm-hmm. we were gonna we were going and there was right. this tree hanging down. Mm-hmm. He ducked and he forgot and I saw it and I was like ah and I just fell off. That's terrible. I was so mad. I think I walked back to the. Mm, that's so terrible. I'm not into these trails and I'm not into all this stuff. So I'll never see it in person. But anyway. Right. Hmm. Yeah. What was this? The four wheeler. How old were you guys? Like eight. No, I no, in I was in eighth grade. Oh. It was right before I moved here. Gotcha. Mm, yeah. Dangerous. Dangerous. I like four wheelers. Uh. Kids on four wheelers sounds neighbor. safe. My well, neighbor you're... growing up wrecked a four wheeler, and he was not the same. He's There's not the same. Mm-mm. Well, I just have mm-hmm. a teeny tiny little scar from a twig, so it was not that traumatic. William Anderson Hatfield was born on September ninth, eighteen thirty nine. That's a long time ago. Yeah. Well, I guess that would be what close to two hundred years. We're getting there. Yeah, right. we're you know, getting there. Not quite. The Civil but we're War. getting there. The Civil War has not started yet when he was born. Died in January 6, 1921. Mm-hmm. Wow. Better known as Devil Ants, was the patriarch of the Hatfield clan during infamous Hatfield-McCoy feud, which was since formed as a part of American folklore. Ants survived the feud and agreed mm-hmm. to end it in 1891. Pretty amazing, right? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Jeff is cracking me up, y'all. Oh, man. I want some of that wood for you. <laughs> I might have to walk downstairs. I'm going to take a little. Yeah, yeah. Um, I can get it for you, no. so you can continue <coughs> the education of that. Um, and shaking uh, my mic. Seth legs, uh, your uh, leg, were, uh. your legs were doing. <laughs> was he? Yes, you should have seen what he was doing. Oh, you dirty boy! <laughs> I am. I'm a bad guy. We need to video these podcasts. Uh, Jeffrey bad. was. We used to do. We used to do that. We imitating. had. The, we had the. Uh, what, what, what? What? What was it? Oh my god! What happened there? I had like a stutter step. My brain was like, bro, we're going to mess with you. Uh, we had a YouTube channel. Well, mm-hmm. we still do, and they all upload. But we used to have mm-hmm. 
GoPro and we would video the podcast and then we'd upload it. Mm -hmm. And now the GoPro is missing. Uh, I guarantee you I know where it is. And it's in your son's room. (laughs) Here it goes again. It's in your son's room. (laughs) I got to stop shaking my leg. Yeah, please do. Yeah, yeah, it's exciting. It's fun for everybody. Um, Anyway. Oh, gosh. Yeah, okay. Y'all should have seen what was happening before we started the podcast. Oh, with Steph just drained a oh. three from the Good corner. Chef Curry's out there cooking again. We're watching the Timberwolves and Golden State Warriors. Golden State Warriors in six spots, so they are are they're in. They're not in the play playing games. They're they're That's in right. the six. So they're good Ooh. right now. It'd be nice to win tonight. Anyway, let's move on. With the, yes, okay. Hatfields, Hatfields, and McCoys. Yeah, so the Hatfield and McCoy feud, right? That happened in West Virginia and Kentucky, right on the border. And do you know that, ha- Pike Se- County, Seth, Lord, have you Lord been County. to um, Gatlinburg? Mm, I have. They have a Hatfield and McCoy like dinner theater type mm. play thing or something. People mm-hmm. just punch each other. No, I don't know yeah, what they do. Like, I've never been to it. But remember we went and Maddie wanted to go for real because yes. she was into this. Yeah. Like she was into the Hatfield and McCoy. She was learning. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. yeah. Right. It's some sort of dinner theater. I think it's, it's something like that. It could be a museum. I'm not really sure. I've never been to a dinner theater, and I will. I, that's one streak I want to keep alive. Oh, really? dinner theaters would be great. I never want to go to a dinner theater. It sounds Why? stupid. Yeah. Really? I think it sounds amazing. I, I would love rather, theater. That's unfortunate. Is it? Yeah. I think it would be amazing. Isn't, I mean, people watching and eating dinner the same thing? Yeah. Just watching people do weird shit. They're just <laughs> acting out like <laughs> you're... You're, I'm sorry, you're not cultured. Yeah, well. Oh, uh, that's the second time today I haven't been mm, called cultured. Ouch! Oh, somebody called Thank you not you. cultured, yes, Michael. Oh. Of course, in our in our Dang. radio show this morning, when Dang. he was like, I said something about being cultured because he's talking about going to the symphony, and I was just, you're not cultured. Mm. He basically said, uh, I don't think you're. I don't think it's culture. I think you might have heartburn or something. <laughs> oh wow! You know how he is. So. Which is nice. It's fine. I get it. We always have playful banter. It's enjoyable. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like I'm very cultured. You aren't way. though, because you, you don't. I am a cultured young man. Oh lord! From the south. Cultured milk, don't they? Ow. I think they do. That would be mm-hmm. cottage cheese. Mm. Okay. Here we go. You ready? Mm-hmm. Can't wait. William Anderson, Devil Ants Hatfield, one of the main figures. Hatfield and McCoy, McCoy feud. This happened in Logan County near the Tug River Valley. Ooh. The old right. Tug River. What a great name for a river. It's a great mm. name for anything. Uh, they were the early settlers in the region. Mm, most of the Hatfields lived on the West Virginia side. Born to Ephraim and Nancy Hatfield. Mm-hmm. Of course. Ephraim, great name. Known to be an excellent marksman and rider. Was what was the was name again? Ephraim and Nancy Hatfield were the parents. It's like he was hammered on moonshine, and they were like... Mm-hmm. Or his dad was hammered on moonshine. They're like, "What's his name?" And, like, mm. and they just Ephraim. scribbled that down. Ephraim. Ephraim's from the Bible, is it? Mm-hmm. Look at you, yeah, old yeah, Testament. Pretty sure, pretty sure. Jeff, you were so. a religion major, mm. a minor. How did you not? I know do this? not remember Ephraim. I don't Ephraim, yeah, yeah. Ephraim. Thirty years ago. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Ephraim. Yeah, Ephraim. Ephraim's pretty interesting. Um, they called him me dog. Yeah, Ephraim is like from Genesis, the Hebrew Bible. Gotcha. Wow. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, Second son of Joseph. Greek. Second so. son of Joseph. Uh, oh. Mm. And Anseth, who was an ancient Egyptian woman mm. whom Pharaoh gave to Joseph as a wife. Hmm. Ephraim was born in Egypt before the arrival of the Israelites from Canaan. Not to be mistaken with Ephraim Hatfield. Canaan Valley? Is that what you said? Mm, yes, Canaan Valley. Yeah, they haven't quite made their way over there yet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's see here. That's about it. All I can see here. What did this guy do? Ephraim means to be fruitful. Oh, well, I mean, there was some thought to that name then. Mm-hmm. They made it up after the fact. Well, how do you said it was they referred to his dad and his ability to produce children. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to see if there's anything more here. Hmm. 
Jeff's going to slam doors again. That's okay. He just threw the cat out. Jeff just threw the cat out. Um, also, Ephraim is a, a tribe of Israel. So Ephraim's one of the 12 tribes of Israel. One of the 12? Mm-hmm. You know the other 11? Oh, I do not. Neither do I. And I don't think we need to. Um, we need to get back to the Hatfields. Okay, yes. Sorry. And the McCoys. Well, Ephraim was his dad, right? Right, yeah, of course. And... <laughs> <laughs> what? That's so funny. He was one of 18 children. Oh, dear Lord. Get it. Could you imagine being Ephraim one? Ephraim literally means to be fruitful, and this guy's like... 18 strong. It's pretty fruitful. Well, his dad, he, his pull-out game was weak. Mm. Well, they didn't have birth control back then. Right. And, you know, and if you're religious, too, you're not going to. Well, yeah, that, too. But could you imagine being one of 18 children? We do, I would feel so just like nothing. Like mm. My parents don't even know I exist. It's great, mm-hmm. though. You got a big family. Uh, you're going to get along with at least two out of the uh, 18. Mm-hmm. I would feel like my parents don't know me. I don't they mean probably to don't. Them. I'm number 12 of 18. It's like a classroom. They probably don't. Yeah, I know. So I'm saying. Yeah. Oh heck! Come how on, can guys. you how can you spend quality time with 18 children individually like they need? Mm. Each child needs individual. Mm. Oh, they were tough back Come then. On. They didn't need their old wimpy. Oh, I need more quality time with my mommy. You had to have children to help with the farm. <laughs> you had to have children. I know, to help that's true. You know, we brought we, yeah. we we made you to help us with the labor. I'm just talking exactly. about their emotional, like how they would feel as emotionally. Oh, yeah. I don't think I don't think that was that. a thing. No, no I think that's a new. Oh, that's I all think new. they did. That's all new. This is. I don't agree. I think they did. I think back then it was and like I think a lot suck of it up. Yeah, they did say that, but I mean, the kids still had to feel something. Mm, I don't know. I don't think there was really anything emotional back then. You were just like, oh, "That's I what do. I'm doing today. <laughs> this I is do. what we got to get done today, and you'll get today. to sleep tonight, maybe no. later." I don't agree. Talk to you later. I don't agree. Are you crying? I'm gonna punch you in the face. That's right. Cry some more. Give you something to cry. No, I, I agree with that. That's how it was. But I think the Brr. kids had some feelings about it. Well, it wasn't documented, I guess. That's just it. It's hidden in the vaults. <coughs> yeah. Well, they they stuffed it way down deep in their souls. Right. Which is why they... they yeah. I don't know where the devil ant's nickname came from. They say it was given to him by his mother. I mean, they say it could have been given to him by Randolph McCoy. But he also could have earned it. In the battles in the Civil War. By being devilish? Well, Was this, he his mean? biography says that he um, was so fierce that he could take on the devil himself. Wow. Ah, there you wow. go. I like it. So there's a quote on this devil ants can that says, Hatfield takes on devil himself. I just think that's actually like cocky. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I think you, it's cocky. You want to have some bravado, and you know what's crazy? I don't think he said that, though. I think it was something you know what said about sucks? Him. Oh, okay. Is That's this different. poor guy doesn't even know that he's on a beer can. Actually, <laughs> this no, poor guy doesn't, doesn't even know there are beer cans. No, he probably That's doesn't. how old he was. That's probably true. They didn't have beer cans in, maybe yeah, bottles. Right. Did they oh, have yeah. beer then? Oh, oh sure. yeah, that's beer. beer forever. Yeah, yeah. beer. Oh, okay. Goodness gracious. Well, I don't know this stuff. Beer. 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 Can't stop beer. No, beer is forever. Um, they serve it out of a goblet? Is that excellent. what you're telling me? I guess. Jugs. Jugs. Moonshine and too. Mm, love mm-hmm. moonshine. Let's see here. Hatfield Mary Levisy Chafin? L-E-V-I-C-Y. Mm-hmm. I don't know anything Quickly about Quickly signing up. Oh, he supported the Confederates during the Civil War. Okay. Natural born leader. Headed up a local militia with his uncle, cool. which is known as the Logan Wildcats. Ooh. How about that? Sounds like a basketball team. It does. With the Logan Wildcats, we're going to come here and stomp all over you. you know, drop a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> drop a hundred. <laughs> uh, more like we're going to kill you. You're right. All of you. You're right. He when? was uh, he was commissioned as a first lieutenant in the cavalry in the Virginia State Line in 1862. Wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Jeez. When did the beer originate? Mm. What? Like when did 2004? I don't know. Oh, Jeff's act over there acting like he You're knows. talking about this beer? Yeah, Devil Ants. Yeah, it Devil is, Ants the, the tier is, 2000. is from, yeah, it's from Greenbrier Valley Brewery in West Virginia. Right. Which we just found out is closing soon. We did. That's the beer that I always drank when I came up here and visited Michael mm-hmm. when I was talk, uh, talking to him about moving back. Mm-hmm. And I remember we had all kinds of great beers in the Atlanta, Georgia area, right? Mm-hmm. Coming back here, then back in 2000, 
you know, eight, mm-hmm. 2012. Mm-hmm. They didn't have a lot here. Mm. But Devil's Ants was everywhere back then. Devil's. And it he was did good. it again. I heard he it. Did, did you again. hear it? I heard it. I uh-huh. heard it. And it was good. He was a Southern sympathizer. The devil. The devil ants. But what I want to know is when did it originate? Um, we could ask G, 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 Chat GPT. Oh Go ahead and ask well, it, I it guess. it probably originated with the company. No, when? Right. When did the devil's ants be originated? <laughs> he oh, did it again. Me. I know he did. He did it again. Um, let's see here. Uh, Virginia State line eventually disbanded in 1863. That's when we became a state. He enlisted in the private in the Virginia Infantry. Mm, he's pretty good in the military, I guess. So he spent most of his time patrolling the border area against bushwhackers, sympathetic to the Union, as well as engaging in guerrilla warfare against Union soldiers. Wow. Devil Ants himself has been connected to battles and killings of several Union fighters, including Trackers, Axe, and Fleming Hurley in 1863. Devil Ants and his uncle Jim Vance later formed a Confederate guerrilla fighting unit called the Logan Wildcats. That's crazy. I didn't know any of this. Yeah, so this guy's from West Virginia, right? This would be southern West Virginia. you got the Tug River on the border of Pike County and Logan County, right? Yes. These people are, at this point, fighting in the Civil War. And I'm pretty sure McCoy, who he ends up having the feud with, who he hasn't had the feud with yet, is also in the in the Civil War. I didn't pay attention in history, so I don't know. They made a really good show on it. Kevin Costner was on it. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Kevin Costner, he's a good actor. Mm-hmm. It's got a 90 rating. What has a 90 rating? TV show? No. Um, the beer. De- Devil Ants. Devil Ants. Ants. Greenbrier Valley Brewing Company. Uh, looks like added. Well, I don't know. This might just be added to this. Mm-hmm. That's probably not the right year. It says 2015. Mm-hmm. That seems like that's not right. Okay. I think it would be older than that, right? I don't know. Mm. I thought your little new little gadget would tell you. He doesn't you. know what I'm talking about. Mm, it's no. supposed to. It's Google like, it. what are you talking Maybe it's because I said devils. Probably. I did Google it, and I'm on their site now. I'm trying to figure out when it was originated. I don't know. Anyway, it's you guys, it's okay. Mm-hmm. I'm just disappointed in your new um, hey, sh- search engine. Did you shush me? Shh. That's one of my biggest pet peeves. Mm, I hate ouch. to be shushed like that. What, are you going to find out when this beer came out? Like, come on. I really wish you could. You have this. Oh, be that have you all heard of this new? It's really working great over there. Right? It's not working out. I bet you could ask Alexa right there. Where is she? Alexa, when did Devil Ants beer come out? Oh, mm. Alexa, you disappoint me. Mm. Let's see. Why is okay, that? Wait, no, I just want to know. You want to know what? What, mm. I, what year it started and who started it? Like, is it family? Is it family? Like, is, is what it. What year did Devil Ants come out? Is it family run? Mm-hmm. Or is it just somebody's like, oh, I like the Hatfield and McCoy story? I think I like Hatfield better. Let's well, do I this. think it's a Green Bar Valley. We, it's a West Virginia beer company that came. They made the you name of the think. beer Devil Devil Ants mm-hmm. because it's a popular thing. Mm-hmm. Well, do you it know is. that, or did you say you think? And it's West I Virginia. know that they also have a nice soul. They also have a Randall McCoy beer. Oh, do they? What's it yes. called? See, Randall this is McCoy. interesting. What is it called? Old Ran. It's called Old Ran. Hmm, have you had it? I have had it. Have it's you? like a porter. It's a dark. Yeah, it's pretty. It's got a lot of flavor. It's got a lot of flavor. It's really good. It's pretty. Yeah, that was nice. Thanks, guys. Um, hmm. Don't ever do it again. (laughs) I don't think it tells us when it was ever. That's crazy. It's been Max Welton. I know that. I don't know when this beer came out. Yeah, I can't find it anywhere. That is Mm. weird. It's it's a mystery. I think it started when the brewery started, if I remember correctly. Mm Hmm. Yeah, I don't know when the brewery started either. Mm-mm. 
Mm-hmm. Well, they're about to close anyway. Rest in peace. R.I.P. There's it's a six point nine percent. Yeah, it's Ooh, it's a beer. stronger beer. It's a yeah, Indian it's Pale Ale. Yeah, I like that. Um, yeah, it's, yeah, it's. I'm sticking with my guess. 2004. Yeah, I think that's you know a good guess. Go sticking with it. with it. Okay, I mean you can make things up all you it's want. Probably 2007 ish. <laughs> well, I would go with 2004. I'm gonna stick with it. 2004. 2004. You guys can research it. I, I don't know. I just thought we could really Google that and, and find an well, answer. Well, we that's couldn't, and we're burning daylight. Speaking of Kentucky. Oh, my gosh, if you if he didn't. Yep, we're 30 minutes in. Oh, I got, my gosh. I got it. We got it. We got I was going to knock yeah. you out. Speaking of Kentucky. Speaking of you Kentucky, can I have some bourbon? Yeah, I will gather it for you. I will gather it for you. <laughs> okay, here we go. Logan Wildcats. One of the group's victims was Union General Bill France, killed in revenge for losing one of their members, France's unit in 1865. He was suspected of having been involved in the murder of his rival, Asa Harmon McCoy. Look at that, another McCoy. Wow. Who had fought for the Union Army and was waylaid by the Wildcats on his return home. Asa is a boy? Yeah, Asa Harmon. Asa. Asa Harmon, A S A. I like that name. I do too. Man, Asa. they had really cool names back then. They did. I'm going to name my child Ants. Ants? Get over here, Ants. I don't know about that. That was his name, though. I well, know, but William, I'm not really William. sure. You don't like it? I don't think I like it as a name, no. I like the Ephraim, and I, I like the. I like, the, yeah, I like, I like the that too. Asa? Asa, yeah. A S A. A S A. People, hmm. people are naming them the, their kids. Harmon is the middle name. What a great name, Harmon. It's probably a last name, right? Yeah. Harmon. It's probably a last name. But that's what his middle name. Asa Harmon McCoy. I like it. So Asa Harmon McCoy was related to Rand McCoy, who he ends up having this feud with. Mm. He had fought for the Union Army. He was waylaid by the Wildcats. Now, at the time, Devil Lance was at the house chilling, so he wasn't involved. He okay? was chilling. But his uncle, out of the drama. But his uncle, Jim Vance, they had been hunting this guy for a while because that's what they did. Okay. Their guerrilla unit would basically hunt these Union sympathizers. Okay. So they're hunting people. Yeah, the Logan Wildcats. Ooh. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, he would just like guerrilla fight and hunt these. When he killed like a general and all this stuff. I guess you call them like, I don't know what you call that. Like a group of mercenaries, maybe. Maybe. Assassins on the loose. Scary kind of, mm-hmm. actually. Well, they say Hatfield, Devil Ants Hatfield was at least associated with or involved in like hundreds of murders. Really? Yes. Like. Throughout his life. For why, though? Like, what What was the Well, like, basis? this is an example. Like, he was in this Logan Wildcat, so they would just go around, like, basically get in all these skirmishes and, you know, kill these people. So, basically, like, he was involved in, like, hundreds of, like, deaths. But for no reason. Yeah. Well, you know, back then, it was the, it was the Union against the, it was the Union against the, what do you call it, Confederates? I don't know. I didn't pay attention in social studies. Oh, yeah. This history. is the North and the South, the Civil War. Okay. Yeah. So, these people were shooting each other just because... One believes in slavery and one does not. And one, okay. and also the South, if you're a sympathizer, doesn't necessarily mean that you support slavery, but you may support the Southern agenda. Wow. If that makes sense. Does not. But so you might be a sympathizer and you may not be a, you may not have slaves, right. but you sympathize with the South. How do you sympathize with those who have slaves is what I want to know. Well, back then it was a way of life, you know, so yeah, like, it was, it was, it it was yeah, it was like a respect thing. So it was like, you know. I see, I can't, I can't. Mm-hmm. God, will you quit slamming the door? The European thing too. Very European. Manifest destiny, right? All that yeah. stuff. I guess, but I, I couldn't be like that. <clears throat> no. I'm not cut from that. Mm, not cut from that cloth. No. Well, so. if you were raised back then, then, you know, you probably. I mean, you wouldn't know. You wouldn't, you wouldn't know. know. You wouldn't right? know. Hey, listen. No, Ooh. I only know what I know now. Ooh. Oh, that is a mm. Dr. Is Pepper <gasps> Zero. Oh, I wow. love Dr. Pepper because I'm super healthy. Okay. Okay. That, Ooh, yeah. I can hear you sip on that. That was healthy. Mm, was that sound, delicious? Mm, sounds great. The zero sugar, baby. Went right down the old tube. Let's get it. Golden all State. Right, so, yeah, I know, right? They're down by four here. That's We've all right. It's the NBA. 40 seconds. Yeah, I know. Four points is nothing. In you you got to give it till the fourth quarter before you can really start watching. I like I like watching because I like watching guys make shots. I think you need to give it you to You and me both. Over. It's hard for me to watch West Virginia University basketball because no one makes, makes Shots. Shot, shot. Yeah, shot, we're going to have to start shot, watching shot, some NBA. It's playoff time. Oh, that is true. And it's after the All Star break. So they probably are competing for seeding right now. They are. 
I know that's wow. so boring for you. I'm sorry. So great. Could you say um, seating one more time, please? Mm, well, that's what evidently Devil Lance's dad did. <laughs> he had 18. Shoot. 18 times. 18 seeds. Probably 20 sometimes. Yeah, probably. You got to get, get back then. There's lots yeah, of miscarriages. Yeah, that's right. You ain't never told a lie. You might have tried, but you and maybe he might have had multiple women. You never know. Well, that's true too, but I doubt it. Let's not How accuse him of that. It? The man's been yeah, dead hey, for a hundred years. Now. We don't know that to I be true. No, I didn't, I didn't. And you know what? It was okay to have multiple women back then. I'm not canceling. You have as many women as you could want. I didn't. I didn't say cancel him. I was just saying. I wonder if he had other women. Listen, he might have more than eighteen. Kids. He was a right. stud hoss. That he was a true. devil. Could be like he Chris would Brown. fight the devil. Of course, he had women. That's what I just said. But it was it's okay, it's not good when I say it, but it's okay when you say it. I had to preface it. You know what I mean with the whole the whole devil stuff. No, that was yeah. sexist of you. Mm, it, was. it was super sexist. Um, I apologize. Listen, Asa Armand McCoy was coming home from war when they waylaid him. So this man wasn't even fighting, and the Logan Wildcats caught up with him because he was part of the Union Army, and he was on his way home, and they killed him. Well, you know. What? Mm, yeah. Well, the Logan Wildcats. Don't mess yeah. with them. Every mm-hmm. time you say that, I think of a team. <laughs> I do, too. I think of Will Ferrell and the, what's the basketball movie. You should have bet the spread on it. <laughs> the, the, West for, the, the Will Ferrell movie. <laughs> He's a basketball guy. Yeah. Uh, Semi-pro. Yeah. What That's what I movie? think of. I see him down there in Logan. <laughs> throwing throwing elbows. Back <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Give it to me. Take pass it back. It in, pass it, it back. Pass it back. Give it to me. Take it back. I don't want it. Give it to me. <laughs> uh, this may have sparked the beginning of the notorious feud between the two families. <laughs> dun 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 dun. Yeah. So now, from what I understand, Devil Lance comes back and he deserts from the Confederate Army. So he doesn't actually serve his term in the Confederate Army. He probably gets tired of that. He got bored because he was killing so many people, and it was so right. easy. Yeah. You know, at some point you got to get tired of that, right? And then he goes back to West Virginia. And he started acquiring land, despite, despite being illiterate. He oh. couldn't read. Wow. How about that? The Did dude couldn't that. read. The dude couldn't read. It wasn't a big deal back then, though, to read. Mm. No, no, wait, I take that back. It was a big deal to read back then, but you didn't need to. Right? It you just need priority, to be able to right? kill people. It wasn't a priority, right? Right. You need to be able to fight in a war. That's right. Murder your way to the top. Yes. The devil. Just maybe made a pact with the devil. I don't know. Who knows? That's probably not a real thing. Mm, he managed to build a profitable lumber business, much of which was on thousands of acres in Virginia Timberland. He had won in a lawsuit from another re- McCoy relative, Perry Klein. So he's really starting this feud the wrong way. So he took this land from this guy. That's how he made all his money. <sighs> he was the patriarch leader of the Hatfield McCoy feud, his family. And Randolph McCoy's fought in one of the bloodiest and most well-known feuds in American history. <gasps> it's pretty cool. It really is. Let's let's take a look at the feud. We have, a neat, we have a neat history. We really do here in West Virginia. It's, it's only like an hour away. We yeah. should go down there. We should have done the podcast there. That's true. We could have. Right. That's true. I don't want to go there. Though. You don't. I've been there, right? You don't want to. I doubt it. You don't want to go. You don't want to go. Oh, you did with your boss. Yeah, I spent the whole day there. You don't want to go down there and do methamphetamines. No, I spent the whole day there. Did you see any street walkers? No, but I no, but I went. Listen to where I went. Day walkers. Day walkers. Listen to where I went. I went to a Mexican restaurant with my boss, and we were waiting on some people to finish up their business, and we just wanted to get a beer and some chips and salsa, and they didn't sell beer in this Mexican restaurant. That's really? because they love Jesus. Isn't that weird? The, and the funny thing is, they have pictures of Jesus all I, over I their love walls. What I have they have pictures of Jesus. I said, Dan. Yeah, but I thought he said, I said, what are all these pictures of Jesus on the wall? He goes, Oh my God, I don't know. And I ordered beer and every beer. I was like, Can I have a Make Ultra? We have no Make Ultra. Okay, Bud Light, no Bud Light. I said, Okay. And I kept going through beers, and I was like, Do you just not sell beer? He said, No, we don't. I'm like, you could have told me that. Beer. Tell me this. Were the Jesuses Mexican Jesus? No, they were art. They were American Jesus. Yes. Wow, I'm telling impressive. Mm, that they, is impressive. They were all in. So I have mm-hmm. been. To, I have been there, and I mean, I just, I'm not to the actual field. Could but. you imagine that place surviving though? If they did have Mexican Jesuses, and then Logan County people went in, and they're like, "That ain't Jesus." Yes, that's probably why. Mm. Nothing against the Logan people. No, mm. not at all. Mm. They're my people. They're they're your people. No, they are? not really. No, but no. You, they would be. 
Well, they're West Virginians. Yeah, that, that's what you I know. was trying to say. Thank you. Now, here we go. Okay, now this is pretty in-depth, okay? okay? So, Asa Harmon, McCoy. Okay. Fine, fine lady. Fine gentleman. <laughs> oh, I thought she was a hottie. No. <laughs> Jeff wasn't here for that. According to compiled records, he was captured by rebels on December 5th of 1863 and released four months later in the Union Hospital in Maryland. At the time of his capture, he was recovering from a gunshot wound to the chest. How th- what? Yes. We're Asa s- is a superhuman. We're so soft now. I know. We get shot once and we're dead. So he gets captured and stay and, and locked up with these... Um, In Maryland? Yeah, gets captured. How'd he get there he on was, a horse? He, he was captured by rebels and was released four months later in a hospital in Maryland. You How'd gotta, he get there? Dude, this is... West Virginia wasn't even a state yet. We weren't even to the Mississippi, really. We weren't so we much were just for, Virginia. We, went smarter, we were just... Yeah, the Louisiana Purchase had been bought. People were traveling west. Like, it was, you know, we weren't even populated. Lincoln didn't the, need the votes yet. Well, Lincoln needed the votes. Well, that's how we got West Virginia created. I know. So this has been around the same time. Right. You, you make West Virginia, and now you get Asa. more, you get a senator, you get right. you get votes for this, you. Okay, I've heard of this. This is like democracy or something? Well, it's illegal. You can't create a state. Unless you have votes. You can't create a st- you can't create a state out of another state. It's against the Constitution. I know this mm-hmm. because I heard it somewhere, <laughs> mm. and I was a hundred percent sure. It was sure. from Twitter. It's, it's got to be true. It's true. It's the Twitter fact. Okay. They did it to get enough votes to get the presidency. Well, we are a ruthless. Was certainly a tipping point. Hey, I'm glad because West Virginia is the goat. Well. Yes, I love West Virginia. I do too. Now, Asa gets shot in the chest. He's recovering, then gets captured. And then he joins a company in Pike County under the command of Uriah, another great name. Yeah. Uriah? Yes, we got Uriah, we got Asa, and Ephraim. Asa sounds like a hot chick's name. I'm (laughs) sorry. We got Asa, Ants. And Ace is a Ep- great Ep- stripper Ephraim, name. Ephraim, Ephraim and Uriah. Yeah. These are great names. Yeah, they, they are. are great names, and they're in Pike, so they're mm-hmm. right there on the Pikeville area. Like That's right. Kentucky, West Kentucky, Virginia West line Virginia down border. there. Tug, yeah, Tug I've been River. down there. Little Tug River. I've eaten at the Taco Bell down there. Mm-hmm. For why? Mm-hmm. I've been down there for business, woman. Mm, business. Mm-hmm. We go down to Pike. I'm going down there to find me a lady. Pike County to find me a lady named Asa. My girlfriend's down there in Pike County. Uriah called me, and he said he's got 13 daughters that need fucked like wild animals. Down there, I'm gonna fuck like wild bitch. We're gonna go hunting for about six hours, and we're gonna get busy. There's so much pussy you know down there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I I don't know you to do business in Pike. I did. Oh, he definitely did business. business. <laughs> Listen, I have I have Took two coal business. mines right across in Kentucky. You have a coal mine. You. Oh, God. Here we go. Again. I like it's sure. my gym. It's my coffee shop. It's my, coal sure. mine. it's my coal mine. <laughs> I have clients that are coal mines. Right across in Kentucky, you got to go through Logan, you got to go through Williamson, you go across into Kentucky, you go into where, you know, you couldn't get me. I lose cell signal, I went up in these hollers, thought I was going to die. Damn. Were you doing meth? I did. That's the only way you could get out. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you're trapped until you do meth, and then it like, like, leads you out. How do I get out of here? They're like, like do some video, meth, and I'll do some meth, you. and you'll get out. Oh and I was gosh. like, all right, okay, whatever, sure, whatever. Yeah, whatever. whatever. You yeah, shoot whatever. it, you snort it. Whatever you want. You drink it with a cola? Will I take it? Can I take it right now? Should I wait? Do I need to take a, what are those, a goodie powder with it? Do I take a goodie powder with it? Should I be prepared for any methamphetamine shits coming up? Ooh, those are bad. <laughs> yeah. Do I need some rough. wipes? Yeah, need those some are rough. Wipes? Should I have some orange oh, juice? Should I, have some? I got my baby wipes. I brought them. <laughs> you don't have baby wipes. You have man wipes. They're in our bathroom. Mm-hmm. Ordered some more. What are they called? Moose wipes? What are they called? I can't remember. They're they're man wipes. That's what they say. Big right ass droplin wipes. Is that what they're <laughs> Big <laughs> ass droplin? No G on the end. <laughs> Big ass droplin wipes. I mean, they're scoop droplin. it out wipes. <laughs> scoop it out. Oh, when you're great plugged name. up, just scoop it just out. Scoop it <laughs> right out. Disgusting. They won't tear. You hey, just scoop it you out. You want to clean you want to clean the carburetor? Go ahead. Use it on your ass too. <laughs> Bad boys will get it all done. Clean your pipes and clean your pipes. <laughs> oh my god! Get up in there, son. Get up in there. You can use it in the shop or in the bathroom. I can't handle it anymore. 
<laughs> Y'all are weird. Uh, anyway, uh, okay, so listen to what happens. This poor guy, poor Asa, he just best man cursed. God, okay, that so name gets yeah. me worked up every time you say <laughs> I'm it. sorry, okay. <laughs> I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. It's probably Asa. 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 Is he Asian? <laughs> Asa. Asa, bring me some sushi. Asa. <laughs> I First West Virginia to serve sushi. <laughs> I can't even say us all without like sounding I think Asian. It's, I think it's right. I think it's Asian. Asa! Asa! <laughs> Whammy! I'm so sorry. What that was offensive. What's happening? I don't know. Whammy just reminds me of that show. Whammy! Whammy! whammy. I love that. No whammies. No whammies. Yeah, well, no whammies. Wait, um, what was that? What was it called? Anchorman. Oh, no, the game show, Whammy. dummy. No, the game show. The game show. Oh, I'm thinking of. I'm thinking uh, of. Oh, Whammy. I'm thinking, thinking of Champ. Champ no, kind. Something luck. No, no Whammies is. No Whammies is. Was on. Was on. It's a game show. Yes, but it was on. The game show network. Um, yeah, I can't remember what channel it was on. Was it on Game Show Network? Yes, but I'm, I can't I'm remember your name either. God, that was I'm so look fun. It, up. it was so fun. I love that show. God, I hate you guys. This it's is something so, luck. Um, such a distraction. Listen, listen. No, from the game. I, I'm gonna figure it out. No pressure luck. Pressure luck. Pressure luck. That's pressure luck. Pressure pressure luck. Wait, so wait. listen, okay. Asa was pressing his luck here, okay? Because okay. evidently, a group that Asa was affiliated with, led by this dude named Francis, shot. Here's another crazy name. Bro, you can't trust a Francis. No, no. But listen, this group, this was a group of union guys. Ooh. Okay? Yeah. They shot Devil Lance Hatfield's buddy, M-O-S-E, Christian Klein. M-O-S-E is his name. M-O. Mose. 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 Welcome to Mose. Mose. You can have a taco. (laughs) Or a burrito. Or a burrito. Uh, Mose Christian Klein, another great name. Yeah. M-O-S-E. Mose. And this was a friend of Devil Ant, so that really pissed him off. Of Devil Ant vowed yeah. to retaliate for the responsible party, right? So, in 1863, a group of Confederate home guards ambushed and killed Francis as he was leaving his house. It's Francis not cool, was in man. charge of. You know, he was a he was in charge of the little group that that hurt most. Runyon later joined the 39th Kentucky Infantry and was killed. Wait, in is that a 64. joke? What? Hmm. Did you say Runyon? Yeah, Runyon. How do they spell that? Yeah, same way. Wow. So we were in this. We're this in was this? the command under the command of Uriah Runyon. You remember we talked about this name, Uriah, Uriah? Runyon. You I didn't know Uriah was a Runyon. You're yeah. talking about Runyon? Yeah, Runyon. Because that's where we're from. Is that area? I didn't hear. Well, it. well, I'm you not. might be related to I'm Uriah or Runyon. This. We might be. I need to get my my spit in a cup thing. Yeah. What, so what Asa joined a company of the Pike County Home Guards under the command of Uriah Runyon. We were commanders. Yep. We always have been. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. So Runyon later joined the 39th Infantry and was killed. Ah, uh, come on, man. he was man. killed by rebels. How many kids did he have? Shh, I don't know. 18, we didn't 22, talk about him very like much. That. Okay. In May 64, um, Asa was in a Lexington hospital, hospital suffering a leg fracture. So Asa's just been through it all. Yeah. Yes. Now he's now he's got it's a leg, a fracture. leg fracture, bro. Come he's already on. been shot in the chest and captured for four months. Right. So what's a leg fracture? Oh, well, that's true. Yeah, probably just blew his leg apart. No big deal. Yeah. Anyway, Asa mustered in eighteen sixty four. He was killed near his home in January seventh, eighteen sixty five. Just thirteen days after leaving the Union Army, so he was out of the army, got out. Thirteen days later, he was killed. A group of Confederate guerrillas, which were the can what was they call them? The Kentucky Wildcats. Yeah. No, they weren't called the Logan Logan Wildcats. Wildcats. Logan Wildcats. Sorry, shout out to UK there. The Logan Wildcats (laughs) killed him. And there's no existing records pertaining to his death, and no warrants were issued in connecting to the murder. Wow. And Uncle Ants, Jim Vance and Uncle of Devil Ants, are responsible for the group, for the killing. Interesting, but who came up with the beer? Greenbrier Valley Brewing Company. I'm so disappointed. We know that. No, we know but I'm that. disappointed because I thought it was going to be this like deep Mm-mm. family, Mm-mm. like Mm-mm. somebody just made it up and put their name on it. Yes. So yeah. they actually have yeah. nothing to do with the beer. Mm-hmm. No. Louisa May Alcott didn't have anything just to do with that beer. Don't talk to me like that. It's Louisa May Alcott didn't have anything historic. to do with the other beer. I know, but I just, but I just thought it was going to be. Si- you mm. thought it was going to be more special than it is. Yes. Yeah, it's not that special. I don't know. Well, it's just he some is, guys. He that, is special. No, he is. I'm just saying. I thought it was going to be something like it, 
Like he brew that, it. Like that. Well, like no, not him himself. <laughs> no, no. Like, this, this, is, this, this shit is so old. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm just saying, like somebody in the family, like. Oh um, no! Like, it was just a West Virginia. You know company. what I mean? Like it was, it was a, a family I'm, thing. I'm following now. Yes. No, it's just a West local no, West Virginia company. Yeah, it's pretty lame. Sad. It's mm. pretty lame. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I really am. Well, listen. The su- oh. And it's going to die just like he did. Well, I know, but because it's dead, because they're done. <laughs> they probably nobody heard that. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm certain of that. <clears throat> We're um, gonna pause it. We're going to take a break. We're going to be right back. We're going to take a break. Um, can we just pause it? Or do I we don't know how to. We're back. And we are back. And you didn't back. even know we were gone. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> On Sunday. <laughs> we took a break, but you don't know that because it literally we paused you. Well, yes. now they know. because We oh, can man. we can edit it if we need to. Poor Ace. Um, for everybody out there that's wondering, the score is... Golden mm-hmm. State fifty two, okay, the Minnesota be, Timberwolves fifty two. History, so it doesn't matter. Draymond Green just caught a pass on a fast break and a one handed tomahawk off the left foot. It's very nice. Very nice. Boring. He's got eleven points, five rebounds. Still the first half. The the table mm-hmm. squeaking, mm-hmm. driving me crazy. I'm sorry. Literally. As is the basketball talk for me. So let's move on. Okay. Okay. Well, listen. Escalation of uh, force here. Ooh. The feud continues. Okay. Oh. The second recorded instance of violence was over a hog. Have you heard of this? An actual pig. Yep. The ownership of a hog in 1878. So, this is like 15 years after. It's a, a big deal. Yeah, this is later, later. But yes, a hog's a big deal. Back then, yeah. If you're poor. Bacon. And you're eating. Ham. And you have hogs. And like, this is your hog. You're not taking like, my hog. You're like stealing somebody's bicycle that's like $1,500. Mm. Well, I think it's even better because you yeah. can eat it. Yeah, that's true. It's probably even more important. That's right. probably true. Back then, yeah, I mean, you're you're mm-hmm. going to eat that hog. And the hogs are huge. People don't understand how much meat's on a hog. A lot of meat. Gosh, like 300 pounds of meat. Oh, my. Yeah, they're huge. Um, Floyd Hatfield, a cousin of ants, here we go again, mm-hmm. owned a hog, but Randolph McCoy claimed it was his. Saying that the notches on the pig's ears were McCoy, not Hatfield marks. The matter was taken to the local justice of peace. Wow. Anderson Preacher Ants Hatfield. Mm-hmm. This is another person mm-hmm. yeah. related to Devil Ants. Mm-hmm. Who ruled in favor of the Hatfields by a testimony of Bill Staten, a relative of both families. Interesting. In June 1880, Staunton was killed by two McCoy brothers. It's amazing. So back then you just killed people. Yeah, so Staten is a relative of both Hatfields and McCoys. Mm-hmm. But Anderson, or Justice of the Peace, Anderson Preacher Ants Hatfield. Sided with Hatfield. Sided with Hatfield, and Bill actually sided with the Hatfields too. So the McCoys got mad at Bill. And killed him. Killed him two years later. Sam wow. and Paris. What are the, how you about just those get two mad guys? at people and kill them back then. Sam and Paris killed him. Salmon? And they were, <laughs> Salmon, Sam and Paris, oh, okay. who were later acquitted on the grounds of self-defense. Wow. Mm. The two that killed him with self-defense mm. for why? It the two McCoy a brothers. little fishy. Two McCoy brothers. Mm. Sam and Paris Sounds were like they might have had some officers in their mm-hmm. pocket. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The feud escalated after Rosanna McCoy entered a relationship with Devil Ants' son, Johnson, known oh, as Jonesy. Scandalous. Leaving her family to live with the Hatfields in West Virginia. <gasps> So McCoy ooh. married a Hatfield. And they, ooh. Oh, that is scandalous. Mm, yes, Rosanna McCoy left the Hatfields in Kentucky. Rosanna, Rosanna's a savage. Mm. Can you imagine Rosanna's the sex? in love with Jonesy? Wow. But that was they mm. probably were did pray so hot. No, it was. You know, especially you know back I mean? then. It's like oh we're breaking God. rules, baby. Oh, not only that, but like. <laughs> What was the options, right? I mean, what were the options back then, right? If you right. found a person you liked. Yeah, that wasn't your cousin. You couldn't get on Facebook and be like, I'm going to find somebody new. Right? No. They there was no greener there was no grass. Face There's no greener there. grass on the other side. There's no swipe There's right. no, yeah. We're not. Yeah. Right. So you're probably ravaging. She's like, oh, she doesn't smell that bad. <laughs> she's not that hairy. <laughs> right. She's she may not paint her toenails and well, walks around in flip flops, but that. she's okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like. I have to smell her poop every day. Ew. Gross. Yeah. 
Yeah. Mm. Oh, it's not yeah. like you can hide what you're doing. Going to the outhouse. true. You're going to bucket somewhere. Yeah. Mm-hmm. These poor people. I'm so glad I live when I do. <sighs> anyway, I would totally live back then. Probably so much simpler, right? Yes. I mean, like, if you think about it in yes. a way, it's like, oh, you know, we don't really care what we each other look like. Yes, we're I just guess, happy to be together. We're happy to have fun. We're happy to just cook and eat and grow and farm. I wonder if that's how it was. That's probably miserable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's probably like, uh, well, eventually you get horny enough to where you don't mind the smell or the hair. It's gross. Well, that was full circle. I was talking about family life, but you went straight back to Jonesy. <laughs> well, that's, Jonesy that's and Rosanna. Look at that. Just budding love. Jonesy yeah. and Rosanna sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. Oh, my God. You're just getting me going. <laughs> so sweet. Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> I digress. Okay. She leaves the family and moves in with the Hatfields. Now, that's a kick to the face. That's a scandal. That's yeah, not cool, That man. is yeah, ruthless. Don't, you don't do that. That is your modern day Hurricane Katrina, right? Don't date Hurricane Katrina, right? No, definitely not. No. It'll 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 hurt you. Yep. This yeah. is probably not going to end well. I'm just going out on a limb here, but I'm going to say it doesn't end well. Probably not going to be good. Somebody's going to die. Yep. Somebody's. They that's killed exactly people back right. then. No, they. <laughs> <laughs> It's like you keep going back to that, and it's true. <laughs> it is. It's they like, just shoot each other. Yeah, we'll just and it's like, him. oh, we got acquitted. What? I don't like him. What? Yeah. He, he pointed at me funny. We got Bill Staten over here f- in the corner who just says, oh, well, no, it was so-and-so's pig. Okay, we're done here. Gavel. Yeah. Acquitted. Back in the day, they used to do duels. It's like, okay, yeah, cool. True. Yeah, y'all want to fight? That's cool. Somebody's going to die. Duel you. You guys get to choose it. Free country. You want to choose one of you dies. That's why you I both mean, agree. I'm glad I live now. Right. Mm. Nowadays, it doesn't mm. matter if me and Seth agree that we're going to fight to the death. Right. If to even it. if we agree to it. You could right. have even signed a document. Back then, yep. if we agree to it and it you cool. kill me, they're like, well, we got to clean up the body. Somebody's going to have to put this body in a this box. Boy, this boy Runyon decided but to do then, it. But he didn't then, have to. You also didn't have to pay the undertaker ten grand to put him in a box. Oh, that's another conspiracy theory. Like, you hear about the yeah. whole, uh, what is it, floor out, floor, floor, what is the stuff they put in your body to clean you out when you die? Fluoride? No, it's formaldehyde. Formaldehyde. You hear about that? Formaldehyde. From a you hear about formaldehyde? No, is it cause cancer? It's not. No. <laughs> <laughs> All these dead people getting cancer no, now? No, it was for the Civil War because they had to get bodies back, right? Right. So they would do that. It's not necessary now. But it makes them a ton of money. How do you know? I would need to need to talk to our it, mortician heard friend. You podcast. heard it on a podcast or on Twitter. No, she can't gonna be say repeating this stuff, Jeff. She's, She's going to say it is necessary because she wants necessary. to continue to make money. But you don't need it. The only thing that's necessary that. is a is a six foot hole. Right. I don't care. But the if body, my you're parent, fine. If my friends or my family are in a casket made out of pallet wood. They're going like to turn dust anyway. Just put them in a anyway. hole. Why okay, don't we but, spend but so much money on it's this? It's the formaldehyde has to preserve the bodies for the funeral. Or is the bodies going to rot very quickly? No, no, no. That's no, another yes, thing. Why are we looking no, at no, That's no, another no. thing. Don't, don't do that. No, 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 I'm no, gonna, no. Some, I've got some very, I've got some serious <laughs> qualms here. I do too. Really bad. Tell me yours. I don't like that. I don't like to be, no, 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 no. stop that. Well, nobody's listening to No, 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 people. No, we are listening to I learned about this. Oh, you learned about it on a podcast from whom? From educated people. Okay. That do this for a living. From Milahad. Okay. But they still have to preserve the body. They have to, you have to preserve the body with something. What do they preserve the body with if we're going to go look at it? Some people wait weeks. Six days later. You have plenty of time. Okay. They said you have plenty of time. Well, here's my issue, Your body will rot. Here's my issue, Ange. My issue goes deeper than that. I am so anti-funeral procession, all that. Oh, I mean, like, I, totally, I say I we just put them in a pine box like they used to. Yeah. And then we have our ceremony. We right. have a celebration. Right. We celebrate the dead. I agree. And then we just be done with it. I, I totally they agree. They took, so my dad's insurance was literally like right at such and such thousand, right? And they took every penny. They of will that. milk. Oh they yeah, every figure out a way. I totally agree. And it is. I think that's one of the most crooked things. I know. I I'm not disagreeing right with now. that part. I'm just Sorry. saying something has to preserve the body for six. Oh, Some yes. people wait yes. six days to a week before they that's have exactly a funeral. Right. What what? How, mm-hmm. Your body rots so fast. What do you? What do they that use? If you don't use some Febreze. What, what do they? Febreze. <laughs> 
We're going to inject this body what with Febreze. Hey, you got Febreze. Can I can't remember. You can't remember. You've got plenty of time. Get that body out there to show people within three or four days. Let's they, do some this. Some people don't have that time. They yeah. got to have people... Then no, you don't, know what? You don't know every I don't family even want situation. To see the body, honestly, the whole thing to me is. Well, weird. I don't either. Yeah, I let's just I don't box either. And let's burn me here. up quickly. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. I'm, a, I'm good. Yeah, Turn me to ashes and look a, at pictures. We live a in a day where we got of plenty of pictures. A, we could even probably do. What are those things? Just put a good picture. We up. could do one of those virtual reality things where, like, you're yeah. there. Hologram. Hologram. Hologram of you. That's kind of creepy. I agree with all of you, each of you on that. But I'm just saying those. Families who do want to show the body, yes, and they have to wait for people to get in town, and they want to respect everybody. Get everybody. How do they preserve the body if they don't use it? You have to because your body is going to rot within a couple of days. Mm. I want to ask the Chat GTP how fast the oh body gosh. rots. Okay. Oh gosh, guys, things are getting serious. Here I know. In our feud. Are they? Yeah. Let's end your feud. Our okay. bodies. Yeah, we're, we're good. You're familiar. How we're good. We're just having a body rot. Let feud. me it's hear your really body rock. Right. <laughs> your body rock. Let me hear your body rock. Your body rock. Oh, Lord, what's happening? <laughs> That's funny. I like that. That's no, good. No, that was good. That's good. Play that at my funeral. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> I want to sing it at your funeral. Jeff Actually, did you know not what? want. You know the smell in here, people? I hope I don't Jeff like it. Did, I hope I don't That's another thing. That's another reason why they do it. It's, it's a little Febreze. warm. It's Febreze and dead body. We <laughs> Gross. <laughs> he Mixed requested. Let me hear your your body rot. It's a Seth original by Seth Kerlock. Yes, he requested your body rot by Seth, and he requested this lady spray his body with Febreze every thirty seconds seconds. for the whole procession. You got to, and he requested the um, Mm -hmm. laundry flavor. Yes, laundry scent. Right, fresh Mm -hmm. laundry scent. Yes, it's not working. Very well. Um, okay, hear me out. Okay. I told you this wasn't going to last, right? Right. Rosanna eventually returned to the McCoys. Of course she did. Well, she she went. She went to the Hatfields, and of course she went back to the McCoys. That's right, because right, the course. honeymoon phase ended. Exactly. You yeah. know, it was all fun and games until things get real. So Rosanna goes back to the McCoys, but when the couple tried to resume their relationship, Jonesy was arrested by the McCoys on an outstanding Kentucky bootlegging warrant. So Jonesy Hatfield is now arrested by the McCoys. Isn't that funny how the families could arrest the other families Mm -hmm. back then? On bootlegging warrants. It's like, hey. Well, you had a bootlegging warrant, anybody, you could be anybody. You could get a bootlegging warrant and be anybody. So you can arrest anybody. Just like modern day warrants, right? I mean, you just go fill it out and become... What do they the call law? Them? those people that bootleg uh, the bounty, hunters. Uh, bounty hunter? Yeah, you can be a bounty yeah. hunter. You just got to pass all the background checks and all that stuff. Back then, you didn't have to pass. No, one. you didn't have to do that. What's your background check? Nah, live up the road. I have a gun. I live up the road. <laughs> I have a. I have an address. I have a I've gun. killed four people. I have a gun. I have a gun and an address. And I spit the I vote. I and vote. I pay my taxes. My shit. <laughs> I get to do what I want. <laughs> I this is America. Okay, you sound like our type. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. Here that you go. works. Go, go kill whoever you want. Go kill whoever you want. Whoever you think's bootlegging. All right. So listen. He was freed from McCoy custody only when Rosanna makes a desperate ride, midnight ride, I'll nonetheless. Bet she does to alert Devil Ants. Ooh. Yep. Yep. Who organized a rescue party? The Hatfield party surrounded the McCoys and took Jonesy back to West Virginia before he could be transported the next day to the county seat of Pikeville, Kentucky. Despite what was seen as her betrayal of her own family on his behalf, Jonesy thereafter abandoned the pregnant Rosanna for her cousin. Told you it wouldn't work out. For his cousin? For her cousin. Jonesy leaves pregnant Rosanna, who's been through all this bullshit, for her cousin, Nancy McCoy. He made a business decision. Wow. Man. How about that? He had intuition. How about that? That's insane. Yeah. Her sister. Cousin, you said. Cousin, sorry. Back then, they didn't pregnant. understand she her hormones, pregnant, though. though. She was pregnant, probably a little crazy. It wasn't her fault, but he didn't know. Wow, that was a bold statement. I got to be honest with you here. I'm not siding with that opinion. That was a I bold think Jones statement. Is an, I think Jones is an asshole. Well, yeah. You can't just impregnate a woman back in the 1800s and be like, I'm leaving you for your cousin. Sure you they, can. They do it today. Well, they definitely do. They Sure you can. That's how you get on Jerry Springer. Oh, man. I wonder what Jerry Springer would have been called back then. He wouldn't have survived because it was just normal. It'd been like it'd have been, like, been, been not Jerry Springer. It'd been like Uriah Van Hoof. Yeah, <laughs> right. Some it'd crazy been like, name. Oh, she's Burn. pregnant. She's, she's pregnant. not putting out. I'm going to grab her cousin. 
Man, that's terrible. It might be true though. Maybe <laughs> might he just be true. Maybe he just was yeah. <laughs> Nancy was his lover. All right. <clears throat> Nancy? <clears throat> yeah, he ended up leaving Roseanne for Nancy. And Mary's Nancy. Both names are not, yeah. So he's got a baby on the way with Rosanna, right? He doesn't care about that baby. Right. And now the cut, it's a big mess. This is great. This is great content. This is great. Yeah. This is this is a great because he now, ends up marrying her. Nancy? Nancy? Yes. Oh. So in 1881. Baby, in 1881. Wait a minute. Like 18 years after we became a state. That's insane. Wow. So so the baby's the baby's second cousin is Nancy and also her stepmom. Oh god, that's weird. That is So weird. there's like a lot of blood mixture there yeah, too. Yeah, that's that's ooh. Oh, that's going to be weird. It happens. Oh man, family dinner is going to be weird. Thanksgiving. That's where we yeah. get all the inbred jokes from in West Virginia. Yeah. Yeah, it's Nancy well, it's, and it's Rosanna. A Kentucky and thing well, thing. Yeah, you got to yeah, understand that if you're having 13 children and those 13 children are marrying the other 13 children. It's going to happen. Everybody's going to be related to everybody. It's going to happen. Right. You need to go a couple states out just to be sure. <laughs> you're going to have to leave town for a few months. <laughs> Sadly, my phone yeah. just died. So oh, I'm, I'm, well, that's okay. Where's my charger at? Oh, here. Uh, charger. Oh. Where's our chargers? It's plugged into the thing that we're running the podcast. No, that's not of. our charger. That's it uh, is too. No, Jeff, that's I'm the char- at it. That's the charger for this. Oh well, I don't know where our charger is then. So Let's pull up Wikipedia. One, on phone. one of them's downstairs. I can go get it. I don't know uh, here. I don't know where you were. But the other you one got just stolen. Wikipedia, you know. Well, I, on my um. Am I, I was looking how fast does your body decompose and it's 24 to 72 hours just saying really? you look up what you yeah look, holy moly look look up whatever 24 to what 72 hours yeah you get a lot of bruising have you heard about this the, yeah something about the blood like, so yeah so basically <clears throat> let me preface by saying they showed us pictures of this kind of stuff and like taught us about this when I was going through army medical school so this is not something I'm yeah. familiar with other than that right because right. we were going to like EMT school they teach you about this right I'm not a professional, okay? But I have seen this. So, like, even people, you can see this with people that are just at, like, immobile people in the hospital. Right. You can see this. Mm -hmm. I've seen it before. It's just, like, a puddle of, like, bruises. Like, basically, like, the skin starts to bruise. But, like, when you're decomposing and you're dead, then it, like, breaks. Yeah. And, like, pusses and stuff. That's nasty. That's pretty gross. That's nasty. Yeah. You could... uh, What... You can um, yep. look up whenever you are looking up on my. Oh, no, I know good. my font's bigger no, because good. you don't need the readers yet, but I do, so I've increased my font on my phone. I have twenty ten vision. Right? Yeah, I don't. Is it's that pretty good? Spectacular! I think. Wow, you're a superhuman. Yeah, I've always had really good eyes. I don't know why. It's uh, something that I'm really happy about because I don't have any hair. that's great oh my gosh there's like can you find where you were oh uh, yeah i know exactly what's going on here okay we're good all right good i've done this before um i taught about i taught this lesson oh good yeah yeah yeah. we just need something here to get us going you know keep us focused okay so they she had the baby yeah so no she hasn't had the baby yet i guess but either way he marries this girl eventually he marries nancy yes (laughs) Well, it continues in 1882. The feud does. Let me have a little sip of this bourbon. Sip it up, mm. Seth. Mm. Oh, gosh. This is bad. Oh, no. Oh, no. I can't believe you guys haven't watched this I haven't. I really series. haven't. You're going to want to after this, probably. Yeah, I probably will. It would be great here, especially with the new lighting in here. I know. The new ambiance that Seth has provided our well, room. I came in and... Ange was sitting here, and she was all comfy on the couch. <laughs> and they've got this salt rock in the corner, and yeah. but they have the overhead lights, which are great. I have I love overhead lights, but they also have a dimmer switch on their fan light. So I hit the dimmer switch, turned off the overhead lights, and Jeff installed a light bulb. Oh, well, I know, <laughs> amazing, crazy, and it took him a while. Yeah, it did. A little bit. Yeah, that was, it was difficult. It was difficult. He had to go all the way downstairs. Yeah, I thought yeah. he shocked himself. Thought he shocked yeah, himself. Yeah, it was scary. Yeah. And now we have this nice soft lighting. I do, I have to say. This is very romantic. I'm going to use this lighting more than not. You should. We are. You should. I like it. Sorry, we were just killing time until you got back. Talking about the lighting yes. that. super <laughs> romantic. It is romantic. Again. It is romantic. Oh are gosh. we started? Are you paranoid? It's. Have we begun? 
<laughs> we're good. Okay. We're good. Oh we're my good. gosh. Okay, we're rolling. Lord. All right. So listen. So okay, he ends up like basically running off on Rosanna, which we called it. We knew it. Right. We knew something wasn't going to go right there. Yeah, such a man whore. Well, not only that, but she also left him before, too. Oh, I forgot about Remember, that part. Remember, she went yeah. back oh, home, yeah. too. Yeah. So, like, this was It's waiting. on her. Yeah, yeah this it's was definitely all on her. Wait, what? I'm not going to say well, that. Well, I mean. I'm just saying. We the, the relationship we was know. The relationship was obviously not going to work out. Right. Right, because they're cousins. Well, now Na- he married Nancy in 1881. Now, the feud continued in 1882 when Ellison Hatfield, okay? Okay. Another good name. I was going to say Ellison. That's Ellison, different. another great name. Brother, this is the brother of Ants, okay? Okay. Was killed by Ooh. three of Rosanna's young brothers. What did he do? Well, Tolbert, Farmer, and Bud. Those are the names. <laughs> Those great are not names. So great names. Those are obviously yeah. farmer. Yeah, farmer. But yeah. P H A. What do you want to name them? Oh, P H Farmer. P H Fancy listen, Farmer. Listen. It's spelled weird, but it's pronounced yeah. this way. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's spelled P H A M E R, like fi- famer, farmer, farmer, farmer. But it's <laughs> pronounced farmer. Okay. Fancy. Tolbert oh. and Bud, Bud killed Ellison on election day in Kentucky. Ooh. Yep. The three McCoy brothers fought a drunken Ellison and another Hatfield brother. Ellison was stabbed 26 times oh, shoot. and finished off with a gunshot. Dang. The McCoy brothers were initially arrested by Hatfield constables and were taken to Pikeville for trial. Secretly, Ants organized a large group of vigilantes and intercepted the constables and their McCoy prisoners before they reached Pikeville. What? That's savage. It's really cool. It's really cool. So it basically, is. this 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 is not just a murder. They get drunk at a party on election day, get in a fight with Ellison, and they end up stabbing Ellison twenty six times and it's shooting him to death. It's a lot of stabs. They're like twenty six stabs. Let's make sure it'll shoot him once. The drinking though, that's probably part oh, of the problem. Yeah, probably. yeah, I mean, and also the anger of everything else that's happened. All right. You know what I mean? Yeah. We hate the Hatfields at this point. Right. Who's we? The McCoys. Or McCoys? Oh, my gosh. It's, it's, Metaphorically speaking. It's figuratively speaking. Yes, figuratively speaking. Oh, I was team. trying to so, make sure I was on the right team. <laughs> so here's the crazy part. They were arrested by the Hatfield Constables and were taken to Pike, Pikeville for trial. Okay? Okay. Uh-huh. But Ants intercepts the Constables and their prisoners before reaching Pikeville. Right. So he's not even going to let these guys see, see justice. The brothers were taken by force to West Virginia. When Ellison died from his injuries, all three McCoy's brothers were killed by the Hatfields in turn. Wow. That's intense. This is like checkmate right here. This is just like a game of chess. It's intense. It is. So basically, Devil Ants gets a group, a posse together. Right. Chases down the constables, who were Hatfield constables too. Right. Uh-huh. So they were Hatfield sympathizers. Uh-huh. One ants aside, but they were going to take him to Kentucky and try him, which they probably would have got away with it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Sure. Yeah. They were going to take him to Pikeville, which is in Kentucky. And the McCoys have the Pikeville, you know, Kentucky sympathizers, right? Right. McCoy sympathizers. They're going to get away with it. Yeah. So Devil Ants is like, nah, fuck that. So Ellison hadn't even died yet from his injuries. He had been shot 26 times or shot or stabbed, stabbed 26 times and shot. And he hadn't died from his injuries. And as soon as he died, he killed all three of them. Dang. Tolbert, Bud, and Farmer. <laughs> Devil killed them all? Devil's people. Devil's the man. Wow. Isn't that wild? So, well, it just says killed by the Hatfields. Listen to this. They were tied to pawpaw bushes, and each was shot numerous times with a total of 50 shots fired. Wow. Their bodies were described as bullet riddled. Soon... Another McCoy, the second son of the murdered Harmon, who we talked about earlier, named Larkin, nicknamed Lark McCoy, like was ambushed too. by alleged West Virginia posse led by the Hatfields. Wow. This is like a, a former day soap opera. Oh, no. This is like legit feud. Like people think it's just like, oh, we shot at each other across the river, mm-hmm. right? No. These people are this murdering is... each other. Yeah. They're Savage savages. Mm-hmm. They're like living in war. Their life is... You may. Absolutely. Okay. Even though the Hatfields 
and most inhabitants of the area believed their revenge was warranted. Up to about 20 men, including ants, were indicted. Oh, so they did get in trouble mm-hmm. for it. All of the Hatfields eluded arrest. What? <laughs> you got to know people to do that. Yep, yeah, that's right. All right. He's going to go get some bourbon. We're gonna... Oh, wait, you're forgetting mine. Ooh, the lady needs a drink. Thank you. What do you think about this so far, Ange? I don't know. Are I you are, are you a McCoy or are you a Hatfield I'm right neither. now? I'm neither. I think they're all both savages, and I think they really overreact. So if your pig was stolen... I'm not going to kill somebody. You wouldn't? No, I'm not going to kill anybody over anything unless you hurt my children. What if your cousin was shot coming home from war? That would suck, and I would hate it, but I'm not going to kill in return. Hmm. I'm telling you, the only What t- if your daughter ran off with your feud? What if my daughter ran off with what? My feud? Your, your feud, did, what do they call it? Feud family? Your family? Oh, I'd be mad. With? I'd be mad. I, I just don't, I don't think killing people is a good idea. What if they impregnated her and then left her? I would, that would be horrible and, and I just would just leave it to fate. They're going to hear from me, but I'm not going to kill anybody. And then, then they stabbed your brother to death. Well, that's different. That might be then they stab your brother to death. Yeah, I mean, I... So now, four things have happened to you. Yeah, I mean, I, I get that. But th- but it wasn't just that instance. There was other instances that... Right, so you that's know what's what I mean? crazy. Is it because is. this is like over like 20 years. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like they said the, the dude getting killed coming home from war and the pig thing was like 10, 13 years, something like yeah. that, 13 years. I mean, I get, I get where they're coming from, but I just still, I don't... Me, myself, I, I couldn't, I don't... I literally don't think I could kill anybody. If you hurt my kids or my grandchild... What I'll would you to, have done? Would you have moved away then? Well, yeah. Or just avoid it all? Contact? I'm just gonna. I'm gonna pull myself out of the situation and probably move. But then, but, but there, everything back then I feel like was so territorial. It was a mm-hmm. whole territorial thing. Yep. Where it's not so much you like that move. now. Can't just move. Well, you can't just move, but it's not like that now. Like we're not all that territorialistic. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like if I had major mm-hmm. drama going on in Charleston, West Virginia, with another family, I'm just gonna up my family. We're gonna move a few states over. But it's easy. That's easy for us to do. You know, it wasn't easy back then. But I'm not about to kill anybody. You know? Right. I see what you're saying. That's just mm. my opinion. Intense. However, I live in 2023, not 18, whatever. Right. If you live back there, different maybe you'd mentality. be able to justify it. Maybe. And you also just got out of war. Yeah. It, it, it's total different mentality. So you would have already killed. And I'm not going to own a hog in 2023. You know what I mean? So well, it's, some it's, people do. Well, right. But it's not we like just go a big buy deal. From Kroger. Somebody but it's not a big dogs. deal, though. Like, people buy cows and right. stuff. But it's yes. not like it's valid. you're not going to kill another family member over a cow. I don't no. know. Campbell's Creek, they might. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Yeah. Seriously. I think there are places where people will do that. Oh, for sure. You touch somebody's property, boy. I think you kill somebody's cow, they're going to shoot you. I don't know. I know my I know my friend would. My friend it has cows. Could he, he would. Yeah, yeah that's a lot of would. money. I really do believe he would. That's just a like, different mentality. But he lives like. on a farm. He lives in the middle of nowhere. And if there's somebody, ready to kill if there's somebody. somebody on your property, they shouldn't be there. I couldn't right? kill somebody. I don't think I could kill somebody ever. No, um, I can't. I don't. I'm just saying. Only yeah. in self defense. I don't even. I mean. But. Somebody breaking my house, threatening my kids. Well, I just that's what I just said. That's, there's yeah. some things that are off limit, but. Yeah. Well. If I could choke them out, I would. If they didn't have a weapon, but. <laughs> different times. We live in different times. <laughs> yes. So, so did this feud ever end? Hear me out. Okay. So the Hatfields did not get arrested for killing those three dudes. Of course okay. not. Now, however, this angered the McCoy family who took it up with Perry Klein. Perry Klein was married to one of the McCoys. Perry is a man. He's, he had political connections and reinstated the charges announced against the Hatfields as an act of revenge. Okay. Okay. That's the dude that lost his land to Devil Ants Hatfield at the beginning of our story mm. so that Devil Ants Hatfield could log on it. Oh. See how twisted up this whole thing is? Pretty twisted, yeah. So now, 1886, this is like me, three or four years after that happened. Mm-hmm. Jeff McCoy. Great name, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> killed a mail carrier, mail carrier named Fred Wolford. And the man who went to pursue him for his crime was acting constable Cap Hatfield. Wow. Cap and a friend named Tom Wallace shot him while on the run on the banks of the Tug Fork. Wow. Tom Wallace was soon found dead in the spring of 1887. 
So, here's what happened. Man, Jeff just, McCoy, one of the McCoys, ends up killing a mail carrier. Not cool. And then Cap Hatfield chases down Jeff McCoy with Tom Wallace. Cap and Tom chase down Jeffrey, shoot Jeffrey on the banks of the Tug Fork. And then, a year later, Tom Wallace is found dead in the spring of 1887. Is Jeffrey okay? Yeah, Jeff's still good. Okay. All right. I just knew they shot him. I didn't know if he was okay or not. I mean, Jeff's dead. <clears throat> oh, that's not good then. He was not doing good then. <laughs> no, he's okay, but he's dead. Fine. I mean, you can be okay and be dead. Like, at um, least you're done with all this shit. That's a good point. Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah. You're done good, with all this yeah. nonsense. Right, yeah. You know, goodness. Good point. So the feud reached its peak during 1888 New Year's Night Massacre. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Mm. New Year's Night, that's a good night for a massacre. I got to say. Because you cleanse it out and you start the new year. Right, exactly. You can, you can uh, make New like Year's that. resolutions. That's, if I do a massacre, if I plan one, mm-hmm. New Year's Eve. What's that show? They do it once a year. They kill people. The, the Purge. The Purge. Yeah. Would you do that? Oh yeah, in a heartbeat. Without saying names, and I want you to be dead serious here. No morals involved. Yeah. Name one person you would purge. Would it, that I'd purge. Dead. Dead serious. Without Don't have naming to say names. names. Are you asking me if there's one? Give me one. You have to have one. I have to have one. You have to have one that you purge. Oh, I don't God. care who it so is. So they're gone. Mm-hmm. Now, if it's a celebrity or somebody you all know, you can say that. But if it's something personal, don't say their name. Okay. I'm done. That's it? I don't have a name. Who would you purge? I can't say a name. It's personal. Oh, so there is somebody. Yeah. You can't say it here. No, it's like you get to kill them, slit so their throat open, right, right. Whatever gouge their eyes do, whatever out, you want to do. rip their legs whatever off, whatever you want to do, however you stuff want to like that. You. There is a person. Oh yeah! Wow, just one though. Ange, I don't have anybody. <laughs> I have nobody. <laughs> I mean, on. hold on, give me a second. Hmm. I would not kill anybody. Are you narrowing it down? Mm-hmm. Oh, I wouldn't either. But if it's like just a purge, mm. man, one person. There's not anybody I could. Say that I want to die. That's so like strong. You want this person to die. That's well, true. Well, it's, it's metaphorical. It's like a purge, you know. Because then they're then they're done. It'd be better to have them suffer. Mm, yeah, that'd be better. Y'all are evil. Like dying's too easy. Oof. Yeah. I think I, I think I probably have a list. Wow. <laughs> I don't have anybody that comes to mind. That's crazy. Well, I think probably the top few would probably be predators. Predators, for sure. Yeah. Okay, yeah. well, yeah. Yeah. I'm I didn't think of, about I'm that. thinking of one oh, or two yeah. right you now. You could do a list, yes. I'm thinking of one or two right now that have personally really affected my friends and family. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they need to die. You, you need it. Yeah, if you're a predator... Maybe not die, but like rip some toes off. Especially maybe, with you know, kids, that kind flay, of thing. Flay some hands. That's true. I mean, yeah, they, I, but I just don't know yeah. anybody personally. There's no fixing though. it. No. I know anybody that's in prison for like. I didn't even think about that. That's like hurt children or rapes. That's different. But I'm talking about personally that I yeah, know. I gotcha. There's not one person on this planet that I know. There's a lot of people mm-hmm. I do not like. There's a lot of people that I do not trust. There's a lot of people that I don't want to be in the same room with and I want to rip their eyes out. Mm-hmm. But I'm not going to. I don't want them to die. That's strong. I know it is. I don't think I do either. I really don't. I really don't. don't, I really I don't. There's like, a lot of people I don't like. but That is strong. I really don't think I have one no. close nearby. that. No, I probably used to. Yeah. Right? Like, there probably was a time in my life where I was so angry at someone. But not I, now. I, but not now. I don't know that I want anybody to die. I could yeah. think of, I could think. Want to hurt some pe- people or someone make them to ruin their life, yeah. like make their yeah. life horrible. Yeah, like that's probably. Something angry. happened that just yeah. destroys them. Yeah. Yeah, that would be cool. I can't think of it. But not die. No, I can't think of anybody I would purge right now. Right now. Maybe next week. So, purge. anyway. It's a good concept. It is a great concept. The feud reached its peak in 1888. Okay. So yeah, we it's getting been, up there. We would have been 15 years old as a state. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. To put that in perspective. Mm-hmm. We would still have... We a, we'd just barely be into puberty, right? Oh, dude. We weren't even getting started. We don't even know what we're doing yet. Yeah. Like, democracy is so young. Oh yeah, we're you know in what I mean? our country. Period. Oh yeah, we were just 
coming out of a civil we're war. We're super young country. We're just coming out of a civil yeah. war. We don't even know what's going on. We're shooting right. each other. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's just a it's just a culture. Over slavery, it's we're just shooting each other over like killing. the worst. We're killing over one of the worst things that that you could do to a human. Right, that's a good point. You know, and not, and not only that, but we're doubling it down by killing each other. It doesn't make sense. It's but weird. we're a bunch of idiots. It was weird. It's going to go down as one of the weirdest things that's ever happened in history. It is weird. Like the French Revolution is not even the same. It's the French Revolution is not even a civil war. It was like, hey, we're poor and you're rich. We're revolting. Right. This wasn't <laughs> its own country. That's true. I mean, we're literally on the other side of Kentucky, and we're fighting against each other. We're like, we're literally across the Tug River. Yeah. It's the weirdest thing. It really is. Yeah, it's super weird. Surprising that we made it through it. Shocking that our country made it through that. It is, but we're resilient. Yep, yeah, we are. That is a true thing. Oh, you can't turn my phone back on. America. Oh, we've got to have a face to do it. <laughs> This is working anyway. Is yours back on? Okay. Well, the, reach. Um, the, uh, so anyway, 1888, that's when it reached its peak, okay? 1888. The New Year Massacre is what it's called. <clears throat> I digress. Are you ready? Yes. New Year's Night Massacre, Captain Vance led several members of the Hatfield clan to surround the McCoy cabin. Several members of the Hatfield clan and opened fire on the sleeping family. Oh, that's not good. That's kind of cold. Yes, this is terrible. Awoken by the shooting, the McCoys managed to grab their weapons and fire back. The cabin was then set on fire in an effort to drive the McCoys into the open. Panicking, the McCoys rushed to every exit they could find. Randolph managed to escape and hide inside the pig pen. The original Rand, this is the dad. Most of his children managed to escape into the woods. Unfortunately, two of the Randolph children, Calvin and Alifar, were shot and killed near the family well as they exited their home. Yeah, we're losing a lot of people. Randolph's wife, Sarah, was caught, beaten, and almost killed. Wow. His own wife. With his house burning, Randolph and his remaining family members were able to escape further into the wilderness. His children, unprepared for the elements, suffered frostbite. It's terrible. Ooh. This is terrible. The whole thing's terrible. Wow. The remaining McCoys moved to Pikeville to escape the West Virginia raiding parties. Don't blame them. That's how we roll. Hmm. West Virginia raiding parties? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't want any part of that. Sounds pretty mm-hmm. cool. Now, in between 1880 and 1891, the feud claimed more than a dozen lives on each, on each side. A few days after the massacre... A posse led by Pike County Deputy Sheriff Frank Phillips rode out to track down Ants' group across the state line into West Virginia. Two McCoys were members of the Phillips posse, Bud and one of Randolph's sons, James Jim McCoy. The first posse victim was Vance. Mm. So they rode down on Jim Vance, who we talked about earlier. Yeah, Jim. He was at the beginning of the story. Jim Vance claimed responsibility for killing old boy Ephraim, who came back from mm-hmm. the Civil War. That's right. Right. But got away with it. So, he was the first thing. He was killed in the woods after he refused to be arrested. Phillips then made another successful raid on Hatfield's home supporters, capturing many other and killing another three Hatfield supporters. So now we got four people dead. Before cornering the rest in Grapevine Creek on January 19th, unfortunately for Phillips, ants and other Hatfields are waiting for them with an armed group of their own. So now Devil Ants is waiting on him with an armed group of their own. Four of the Hatfield party has been killed. Right. Devil Lance is waiting on him. He's a pretty cool guy. Yeah, he's pretty badass. Yeah. <sighs> a battle ensued between the two parties, and the Hatfields were eventually apprehended. A deputy, Bill Dempsey, was wounded and executed by Frank Phillips after they surrendered. Frank Phillips is the party that was trying to capture him. Right. On August 24, 1888, eight of the Hatfields and their friends were indicted for the murder of Randolph's young daughter, Alifair McCoy, who was killed during the New Year's Massacre. They included Cap, Johnson, Robert Elliott, Hatfield, Ellis Mounts, French Ellis, Charles Gillespie, and Thomas Chambers. I think it's just all unnecessary. Mm-hmm. Moral mm-hmm. of the story is don't leave your girl for her cousin. Mm, okay. That's what I sum it up as. 
Sum it up. That's the moral of the story. I want a t-shirt that says, let's party like it's 1887. Dude, that would be awesome. Let's party like it's the Hatfield and McCoy for you. Yeah. Just unnecessary deaths. I don't, no, I don't, no. Hmm. We're well, at the I will one say this. hour and 30 minute mark. I will say this, in closing for Devil Ants, anyway. Closing out the devil. Yeah, let's close out on Devil Ants. I will say that in, I believe it was, let me see here, 1911? Oh, we're yes, jumping way I am. ahead. I'm correct, I'm correct. Okay, so fast forward. There was some trials that went down. Some people got hung. Okay, Jeez. some it of happens. got hung. Yeah, it happens. Know. And then it kind of just f- fuses out. Okay, we're not going to get into all the details. But you can watch the show. It's great, and it's very accurate. So Hatfield ends up converting to Christianity and gets baptized on September 23rd, 1911. Wow. Nice. In Island Creek by William Dyke, Uncle Dyke Garrett, and converted to Christianity. Hmm. Hmm. He went on to found a church and a church congregation in West Virginia. Well, what and do you was, know? And was eventually the uncle of the governor of West Virginia and United States Senator Henry D. Hatfield. There you go. Interesting. Murderous bastard. Yep. And turn so, Christian. Turn Christian. Wow. Straighten his life out. Straighten his life out. Randall McCoy ends up living to be, he has a full life too, okay? And he ends up being to be, now remember, we didn't talk much about Rand, but Rand was the father of the other McCoy family, okay? Right. So okay. Just so you know. Okay. Um, he ends up living to be 88 years old. Wow. Good but He life. was always, he was very conservative Christian. And they were not. This is just stuff that I know from teaching West Virginia history. The McCoys were not a rich family. The Hatfields were. Ah. Yes. So the McCoys were very poor, very religious, and that's why the hog thing was such a huge deal. Makes right. sense. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But traditionally, the McCoys were not nearly as rich because the Hatfields had stumbled into that land and taken that land from one of the McCoys. Did you right. say Rand McCoy? Rand. Yeah. Randolph McCoy. They call oh, him Rand. Oh, not Rand. R-A-N-D. Yeah, they call him Rand. Sorry. Oh, yeah, Rand off McCoy. Know. That's where Rand, West Virginia, came from. I don't know. My dad got shot in Rand, oh, which gosh. is another story. Dear God. Yeah, literally. Oh, Lord. Wow. Yeah, across the legs. Ooh. What? His best friend at his funeral, at my dad's funeral, said he's the only fan of man I ever knew to go to a gunfight with a chain. Wow. And this guy pulled a gun and my dad pulled a chain out. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Went after the guy with the chain and the guy shot him. <laughs> put wow. him in the, they put him in the back of the pickup truck and took him to the hospital. Oh, my and goodness. He was fine. Well, That's crazy. He lived through it, but. Right, right, right. Dear goodness. Yeah, he lived through Vietnam and got shot when he got home, just like our boy. That was funny? it Asa? Was it Asa that got shot? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or was it yeah. Ephraim? It was Asa, right? Well, one of the two. That's like, crazy. You guys need to watch a documentary. We might have to now. I love documentaries. Jeff loves documentaries. I do not. But Mm. now that we've talked about this. Well, it's not really a documentary. It's like a show. Like, it's a real show. What's it on? Four part show. I don't know. That's a good question. You can find it on anything. I can't remember um, where they are. I'm sure your little IPC lookup person. (laughs) 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 I don't know. Chat, GP, what is it? Yeah, whatever. ABC, IDGAF. The, it pulled up the half of the McCoy dinner show, which was what you were talking about I earlier. know, right? <laughs> I, there was a dinner Sounds show. Horrible. That's what it pulled up. It doesn't sound horrible. You were going to a dinner show. You're going to go to a dinner show. Oh, it me. was on the History Channel. You might be able to find it on the History app. Ah, gotcha. Jeff yeah. has a History app yeah. on, on lock. Yeah. On lockdown. <laughs> or on your computer. <laughs> this whatever. has been fun. So, so we have Since two beers down, two historical figures, families yes. down. Isn't this crazy? Yes. Yeah, um, pretty cool. Good luck finding the third. I don't know. Maybe we will. But again, oh, we will. They say Devil Ants was a wild bastard. Sounds like a wild bastard. So he settled down. In hopefully, 1911. hopefully the beer will make a comeback. If not, then R.I.P. I hope you get some formaldehyde so you don't rot. Mm, that's true. I've got some more bourbon to drink. Okay. Good night, all. Mm. Peace out. Mm.